Hi and welcome to part two, assembly of the main body components. Please bear with me as I muddle my way through this, thank you. We start with screw pack one to attach the linear rail to the main upright. Each rail we need six bolts and T-nuts. We attach two at the bottom, two at the top, and two in the middle. Now you have to align the T-nuts up so they're all straight and place on the upright. With your hex key, tighten so that they are firmly attached. I double check that it's all tightened down, check that it's running smoothly, and now I need to repeat two more times. After I had the three uprights assembled, it was time to move on to the base. This bit was a little bit tricky. You need to align the nuts so that the narrow side is upwards and then place the larger section of the extrusion into the opening and then repeat two more times. Any cubic were nice enough to include a wire to help you fish your cables through the extrusion. I used a bit of sellotape to attach the cables to the wire and then pushed it through the extrusion pulling the cables through. It's important to note 
not to apply the connector to the end of the wires to after you have completed this part. Otherwise you will not get the wire through the extrusion. Now I took the two little screws and attached the end stop to the plastic extrusion. This was a little bit tricky and I needed a bit more force than I thought I would, but I had to tap the holes with the screw as you tighten it. I checked the cables were all nicely positioned and then fished them through the bottom which is underneath the motor. When I had done that I could add the plastic connector to the end of the wires ready for connection to the motherboard later. And now I just had to repeat this process two more times. After I'd finished the wiring, I could stand it up and fix the top on. This was again a little bit tricky, just making sure the bolts were lined up properly, positioning and then pushing down into place, tightening up the bolts. Now it was time to attach the hot end and controller arms to the main frame. I did this by applying one screw to each linear rail to hold the arms in place and then applied the other three to each linear rail. It was now time to put the belts on. I did this by taking the whole belt and applying it. In hindsight, it would probably have been better to divide the belt into three pieces and make life a little bit easier. But either way, you attach one end, put it around the bottom motor pulley, all the way back up to the top around the top pulley and back down to the linear rail
After I'd finished applying all three belts, it was time to attach a tension clip. This again was slightly tricky and the aid of a pair of pliers certainly helped. Now it was time to attach the screen. You need two nuts and two T-bolts. You need to align the nuts before applying to the extrusion. First, release the cable, which is held with an elastic band, and fish this through first. Then center and tighten bolts on the right side as shown in the manual. After applying the screen, I turn to the filament holder. This has to be placed at a particular height, which you can find in the manual. And by using the included ruler, it was very straightforward. You have to attach two T-bolts and two nuts, align and then place in the extrusion. Measure to the height and tighten. After the filament holder, it's the extruder motor. This is held on with again two T-nuts and two bolts. I aligned the nuts and put into the extrusion. Measured with the ruler to the specific height, which is again stated in the manual, and tightened. Thank you for watching and if you've made it this far, that's amazing. And if you're asleep, it's time to wake up. Uh, part three to follow.